Hey friends, it's Charles here, and I want to do something a little bit different for this channel. You see, when I started um, doing reviews on YouTube, I wasn't as confident a speaker. I didn't um, have my style of reviewing down. And so there are reviews that if you go back, I've done that may, that may be lacking a little bit, or I just have a better understanding of the material, or I gave it a second look. And that is the case here with this second look at Duke number one. Um, you know, I've, I've said, if, you know, like I said in the first video I did on Duke number one, um, it's full of action, uh, great story points, and it's, a, you know, a nice uh, reset of the universe and uh, the tie-in with the Energon universe. And, uh, you know, like I said, the great thing about, you know, collecting books is that you can always go back reread and um you know enjoy the story time and time again and so we start with you know duke doing his thing um you know um kind of establishing him as a man of action and you know a, a man that's not you know uh pursuing any of the grandeur that you can get with promotions and moving up the ranks he wants to be in the middle of the action you know, I mentioned that he's turned down promotions not because he wasn't qualified, but he loves being in the thick of it. So you're establishing this character, and it's a great way to really get into the G.I. Joe universe if you are not a regular reader or follower. Um, this panel right here, this two-page panel, really says it all, you know, about who he is and, you know, establishes his character and then uh, you go to the juxtaposition of this scene where he's talking to a commanding officer, you know, and um, you can tell that he's very troubled. You know, he has stubble. He's not well put together. Um, you know, a lot of emotion shown in the art of this, you know, where, you know, you don't have to spend a lot of time on the words because the artist tells the story in the way that they draw the scene. And his supervisor is pretty much asking him to, um, you know, not, not ask so many questions. Kind of keep quiet what he went through. And what did he go through? Well, this right here. A friend was flying him back, uh, back home, I, be I believe. And um, they had an encounter with something he didn't recognize. You know, something that transformed in midair, and the army and his commander, they're all trying to get him to keep a lid on it and gaslight him. And, you know, if you play along, play ball, we need you in the service. We need you back to work. You need to get your head right, trying to get him to stand down on his principles. And he refuses to. And so you cut to half a year later, and he's going to a... Uh, you know, a, a group therapy session of uh, people who have seen these, you know, mysterious robots and other people who are struggling with PTSD and, you know, buying into other strange, you know, uh, conspiracies. And he needs a doctor, you know, the doctor who's running the support group. And, you know, come to find out that, you know, she has a past in weapons development and I mean the story has moved so fast but you're not you're not feeling like you're wanting for story. Like I said a big part of that is the art and the choices um artistically. You know, you look at Duke here, he has, you know, long shaggy hair, he's beat up, he's grizzled. You know, he is, you know, trying to figure out what the hell happened. What killed his friend? Why is his government trying to cover up um, and you can see that he's real troubled by this point and you know he puts two and two together and he discovers that you know at the bottom at the, you know behind you know what he is uh, experiencing is a company a weapons manufacturing company and so he uh, breaks in and he tries to do some recon he goes through some you know stuff uh Great action here. Ben eventually gets overwhelmed and tossed out in his butt. But um, 
you know, you find out, you know, and it and it's a very cool way to introduce this character that the head of this um, corporation is none other than Layer Destro. And so it's the first look that you get of him in this comic. And by the time you know you get to the last, you know, by the time I got to the last issue, that's something that oh yeah, I didn't remember the Destro was introduced in book number one. You know, because we read them as we get them. And so it's, you know, cool to go back and see what's going on. And I don't want to give away too much more, but there is, you know, a lot more drama and intrigue and peril and a lot of stuff to set, you know, set the story up, you know, going forth and, uh, you know, and trying to put a lid on Duke. They decide, you know what, we need to send some people to go get this guy and kind of keep the lid on things. And they're like, well, you know, to catch an American hero, we need some American heroes. So on the very last page, you're introduced to Sergeant Stalker and Rock and Roll. And, uh, you know, we're off with uh, number one, you know, um, a great series in retrospect. You know, I look back at the issues and I had fun with every issue and I looked forward to every issue. You know, a lot of books, you know, you get into, you might have kind of a lull in a series. Um, but this had no lulls, this had no disappointments, and the action just keeps ramping up and ramping up and they organically build this world. You know, this is pre-G.I. Joe. Um, you know, this is just these characters coming together and meeting. And throughout this series, you meet, like I said, you meet uh, Destro in this series. You meet Baroness in a very unexpected and different, you know, different way. You meet Stalker. You meet Robin Hood. You meet so many of the foundational characters in G.I. Joe. And uh, if you haven't read this, you know, I, I cannot suggest it enough. And, um, yeah, it's part of the Energon universe, which includes the Void Arrivals, um, Transformers, G.I. Joe, um, Cobra Commander, Destro, uh, Scarlet, you know, and I'm sure they're going to be adding more books, you know, at, you know, and, you know, some great writing. Image, in my opinion, nowadays is putting out some of the best books in all of comics, at least to my preference. Um, so anyway, if you guys have read this, let me know what you think. And if you're needing a copy, um, I cannot suggest Coffee in the Comics enough. I get all of my new comics from Coffee in the Comic, and with code O-L-D-N-E-R-D-W-Y, you can save 15% off of uh, your comic book purchases through the end of August, and, uh, you know, Jeff is a great guy, small business owner, veteran, and the t- customer service is top-notch, and as well as that 15%, they're having an 80% sale on certain select package issues uh, for the summer, so now is a good time to go check them out, my last order, I got a bunch of back issues, I even got some series for uh, some friends of mine. And so it's a great way to really fill out your comic book collection and find some stuff, you know, some gifts and some stuff that you may want to try but you didn't want to spend the money on. Go take advantage of this summer sale and their 15% off sale right now. Um, anyway, it's been Charles. Um, I'll see you next time. Until then, keep reading them books. Yo, Joe.